Hey there, adventurers. Welcome back to Joystick News, where we dive deep into the heart of gaming secrets, tips, and all the insider knowledge you could wish for. Today, we're venturing into the mystical and treacherous world of Dragon's Dogma 2, a realm where your bravery is tested just as much as your ability to stay out of trouble. But let's be real sometimes, trouble finds us, especially when we're out exploring, seeking treasure, or let's say, accidentally disturbing the peace. So, what do you do when you've got the guards of Dragon's Dogma too hot on your heels, ready to throw you in the jail, or worse, end your adventure prematurely? Fear not, for we've got the ultimate guide on how to lose those pesky guards and avoid a stint behind bars. Let's dive in. The Great Escape Losing Guard Aggro Imagine you're deep into a quest and things go sideways. Suddenly, you're the most wanted person in town. It sounds thrilling, but the prospect of jail time or a game over screen, not so much. The solution is surprisingly simple, run. That's right, channel your inner track star and put some distance between you and those relentless guards. Your goal, break their line of sight. Dash around corners, sprint through alleys, leap over fences, do whatever it takes to vanish from their view. It's a bit like playing a high-stakes game of hide-and-seek, where the consequences of being found are a tad more severe than just losing the game. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Your loyal pawns might decide to stand their ground and fight, but we're not looking for a brawl. Command your companions to regroup with you, and they'll pull back, avoiding unnecessary bloodshed. This tactic isn't just for evading guards, it works against all sorts of foes in Dragon's Dogma 2's vast open world. Once you've successfully given them the slip, the guards will treat you as if nothing ever happened. It's as if your slate's been wiped clean and you can stroll through town without a care in the world. It's a curious mechanic, but hey, if it works, it works. Behind bars, a quick guide on getting out of jail. But what if your luck runs out and you find yourself behind bars, stripped of your gear and locked in a cell? Don't despair just yet, you've got options. Your first option is to engage in a bit of bribery. A guard will eventually saunter past your cell and that's your cue to have a chat. But be warned, bribing your way out can be a costly affair and the amount seems to fluctuate based on the gold in your pockets. If you decide to go down this route, make sure to snag your gear on your way out. If the idea of parting with your hard-earned gold doesn't sit well with you, there's another way. The makeshift jail key, sold by certain merchants like the one in Melv, could be your ticket to freedom. These keys aren't cheap, costing 3000 gold each, but they're a surefire way to escape jail without draining your wallet too much. Just remember, each key is a one-time use, so it's wise to keep a spare just in case. And there you have it, folks. Whether you're a master escape artist or you find yourself on the wrong side of the law, these tips should help you navigate the dangers of Dragon's Dogma 2's justice system. Remember, adventure calls for both bravery and brains use both, and you'll conquer whatever this world throws at you. Thanks for tuning into Joystick News. Keep those blades sharp and with sharper adventurers. Until next time, may your travels be thrilling and your escapes, well, successful.